It would be really bad if I tried to play him one on one. Man, he might, I might be hospitalized. I mean, give me a fighting chance. He actually went out there and practiced. James Harden's cheating already. Oh, he ain't miss. Have y'all watched him? He hasn't missed the last 10 shots. I gotta figure out a way to sabotage him. <laughs> okay, let's think about this. You know, he was a prolific scorer. Right? Coming out of Arizona State, number three overall pick, 2009. We knew he was going to be all that, but we didn't know he was going to be this damn good. But now, he truly is the heir apparent to Kobe. This is one of those moments where you apologize for every critical thing you ever said. <laughs> I just want to say, James Harden, that you know, um, all of your years in the league, I only, ins I only criticized you one time. I did. It was only one time. Oh, it was during the I remember that. That's it. And I looked at you crazy. I remember, <laughs> I remember like it was yesterday. I looked at you crazy. And I, I forgot I went back in the locker room and I said something like that. I said something crazy. Can't say it. That's right. Like that. That's right. I remember it. I remember it. What I said back in those finals was, this dude is going to be a superstar in this league. Mm -hmm. How is it that he don't want to shoot the ball? Because it seemed like you didn't want to shoot. That's the only thing I think anybody's ever been able to say about you. Mm -hmm. When you look back on what kind of a player you were then compared to how you are now, what do you say? Just a lot more comfortable and um, just know the game more. Mm -hmm. You know, IQ is, is definitely has risen because of, uh, you know, taking on this, this team and myself and having to figure out how to get it done. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, whether it's different players, whether it's different coaches, um, whether it's me changing and mm -hmm. figuring out, you, you got to be better. When I look at you now, I see a leader. I see a team that's a title contender obviously primarily because of you. I'm thinking about when you were in Oklahoma City and you had a shot at the crown because you were in the finals. Yeah. Does that still ache you? Is that something you still think about to this day? And if so, what do you think? hundred percent. Just like you said, I wish I could have you know, been more aggressive. Uh, I don't know if it was just you know, overwhelming yeah. or, or whatnot, but just, uh, you know, it's the biggest age, you know, so I, and I wish I wish and I, and I thrive every single day I want to get back to that. Because I know if I had another opportunity, it would be a you know, completely different. Experience. How would it be different? What would you do? If you were in the finals right now. I'm an attack man. I'm not. There's no who guard me, none, none of that. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an attack man. Yeah. Right now, I feel like nobody can guard me, nobody can stop me. So, um, you know, if I had that mindset, it doesn't matter who we play and, and, and put me in that position. It's just, it's just you know, it's going to be a different scenario. How far do you think you can take this team? To the, champ, to, to the finals and, and winning. Even with um, Golden State and San Antonio in the, in the conference? Yeah, for sure. You know, but Golden State, obviously, they, you know, they got four, four, four All-Stars on their team. So um, we're not saying it's going to be easy. It's gonna, obviously, it's going to be tough. How did you feel when Kevin Durant, your former teammate, decided to go to Golden State? Honestly, I didn't, I didn't know what to, how to feel, man. You know, especially you know, after they lost against uh, you know, Warriors. Uh, I was in Arizona working out this summer. He came out there for a couple of days and hung out with me. So, um, you know, we didn't talk about basketball. We just, you know, genuine friendship. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, once once that decision made and I read it on my phone, I just, just like, I was in shock just like everybody else. Are you a vocal leader? Yeah. I'm all a leader. Mm -hmm. I'm going to curse you out. I'm uh, going to put you to the side, talk to you, tell you what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And, you uh, know, I'm work. I'm work. I'm going to show you that I'm a leader as well. Was that easier for you to do in terms of becoming a leader, of even more of a leader of this team? Has that been easier for you this year than it was in years past, say, when a guy like Dwight Howard was it? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Just Why was it got, easy? It's just two different personalities. Um, you know, not, not to say that he's not a leader or whatnot, but just I didn't have full control of the team. You yeah, have, you know, 28 points a game, shoot 44 percent in the field, lead the league in assists with 11 and a half, averaging about 80 points. Damn, they're close to your own triple double, right. and you've had about uh, uh, about 14 of them this year. Uh, do you believe that if the season were to end now, that you should be leading? 100. Uh, percent and just for the reasons you said, I mean, obviously the numbers are, are you know, are, are good, but we're winning. Obviously, your most heated competition in that regard would be somebody named Russell Westbrook, your former teammate yeah. in Oklahoma City. Do y'all talk about that? Do y'all jab yeah, each other about that? Yeah, we don't talk about it. You know, when we, when we play them, you know, we play them three times, so I just tell them to keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep keep doing what they think you can't do, you know, and just, and that, that's the mindset that he's had all year, and you can see it. Before we get on out of here. You know, you get ready to do interviews and all that stuff. That's nice. But when it came to me, I want to. See I that. had to be on the court shooting basketball. Why you have to call me? I want. What I do? First of all, you got to understand me. I want to see that jump shot. You're on TV 24/7.
talking about other people's jump shots and whatnot. I want to see yours. It's a three, two, four. I'm critical. I'm critical. So if I'm gonna do what you asked me to do. I'm gonna do what you asked me to do. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Best out of five. You have some warm-up shots? Yes. Best out of five from the three. This is bad. Yeah, no warm-up. Warm you warmed up. up. You warmed up. I'm gonna give you some good passes too. <sighs> Oh, 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 Gang winner! Ah. Oh for five! Tired? No! I'm frustrated. I haven't shot in a long time, man. This is about to go viral. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is very bad. Oh, oh for left. What's up? Get him out of here. No practice. <laughs> oh god. Let's go. So, <laughs> no, that's not one for three. I can't explain. He ain't tired off a of 14 jump shot. I can't explain, Look, man. He ain't even do no movement. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed because I haven't shot in a long time. I'm almost 50, man. So you better get in the gym. You better find a gym. 